Hello, welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom, and today we're going to make a sweet potato casserole here. And the recipe calls for three large potatoes. We got about five medium potatoes here, so we're going to use those sweet potatoes. It says don't use canned sweet potatoes, so we're going to use these. And then we'll use a half cup of sugar, two eggs, a third cup of melted butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, a one ounce box of raisins, and we'll go put some of this uh, crushed pineapple in it here. Uh, and then for the topping, we'll go put a cup of brown sugar, a cup of butter, and a cup of chopped pecans in it. And so we're going to get started with it, and we're going to do it, of course, in the Ninja Foodie Deluxe here. So first thing we're going to do is wash these potatoes off and clean them real good in case I've already done that. Okay, now a lot of people say if you don't punch holes in these, they go going to bust when they're pressure cooking. Well, we're going to find out. I'm going to put holes in, in uh, three of them, and the other two I'm not going to put holes in. We're going to see what the difference is. Because if they just bust all over the pot, well, we'll just wipe it out. It's easier to clean up anyway. So... And if you make a mistake and hit your finger, you ain't going to lock it. So pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, now we've got holes poked in three of them. Now the next thing we're going to do is move over to the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Okay, now i got this little rack that comes with Ninja Foodie that will set down in here. Now I'm going to pour just cup and a half of water right down in it. Now we'll put these sweet potatoes down in here. And it don't matter if they're on top of each other or not. So the next thing we're going to do is put the pressure lid on. Line up your little arrows on the top, turn it clockwise until it stops and locked into place so you can't pick it up. Make sure your uh, valve back here is turned to seal and not vent. And you come over here and turn on the power. And you turn this over to pressure. And we'll leave it on high. And it's set for 10 minutes. I'm going to make it a little bit more than that. So you hit the little time button here. Okay, it starts to flashing, and then you turn it till it comes up to, I'm going to do this for 14 minutes. All right, and then we'll hit the start button. And there it goes. So, now it'll have to take a little time to build up some pressure here before it starts uh, counting down your 14 minutes. It'll probably take about 10 minutes. And it'll start counting down for you. So we'll be back then. And while y'all are not doing nothing, how about joining our channel and giving us a thumbs up? And, we sure would sort of appreciate it, and thank you very much for watching our videos. Okay, now it's been about 12 minutes since we hit the start button, and the little button just came up in the back and sealed the uh, unit. And now, as you know, it takes a couple more minutes for this uh, little light to stop chasing each other around. It starts counting down your minutes here. So it won't be long now before it's getting ready to start. Okay, and there you have it starting down. It started at 14 minutes. It's counting on down. We'll be back when it gets there. Okay, now we've got less than 10 seconds left on this cook here. Now, as soon as it gets down to zero, it says done. We'll go ahead and hit the release here and put it on a vent. And just do a quick release on it. And that's probably going to take about four or five minutes, so we'll be back in a minute. It's been venting for about three minutes and there's not much sound still coming out of that so it can't be much more in there to vent. I'm going to turn this so you can see down in it just a little bit better when I take the top off. 
And there went the little pin drop down. So now we'll turn it counterclockwise. Lift it up and away from your face. And right over into the sink. And as you can see, the ones, <laughs> I'll get you over here so you see a little bit better. The ones that I didn't poke holes in, they're split. Like this. They're split open. Now the ones I poked holes in like this, now they're not split like that. So I guess the moral to the story is, if you poke holes in them, they're not going to split open. <laughs> So I'm going to have to remember that for future reference. Because that was a good experiment right there. Just if it didn't do anything else on this video except just right here. If you don't poke holes in them, they will bust open. Okay, now you can see Kay, Kay is just taking these and dragging a fork down them. And that's taking all the peel off. And so that's all we want to do. As you see that how easy that peeling comes off of there? They just peel right off with the Without, you just pull the fork down it and then you can grab a hold of the end of it and just take the rest of the peeling off. Nothing much to it. You just have to pay attention. They're a little warm. You don't want to burn your little fingers, but that's all there is to doing it. Alright, now Kay, Kay's putting these potatoes down this food processor here. Well, she don't drop in the eggs. <laughs> Okay, now we'll add two eggs to it. Half a cup of sugar. Just eight ounce can of pine crushed pineapple here. quarter of a stick of butter. Oh, I was about to forget my raisins here. Got to make sure you put your raisins in there. And last but not least, a teaspoon of this uh, vanilla extract here. Oh, maybe just a little more than a teaspoon. <laughs> now let's see if we can get it to go in here. Put that spectro over here and check it for the texture. Oh, I'll tell you what, that looks good. Alright, uh, just in case you can't see, look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Alright, now. Okay, now it's all in there. <clears throat> in case I forgot to tell you, this is a seven cup anchor hocking glass bowl here. So, now, looks good enough to eat just by itself, don't it? But we're not finished. Okay, now for this topping, I'm going to take this, oh, about a cup of uh, crushed up pecans here, put it in there, and then we'll put Sugar, they 
Okay, now I've got a box with a cup of brown sugar here. Dump it down, don't even want all that. a little bit and we'll take this butter and pour over it a little bit. I said that was a half stick of butter. Now we'll spread this over top of it. Now the next thing we'll do is take and set this bowl here right on top of this Ninja Foodie rack. And we'll take the entire rack and set it right back down into this Ninja Foodie here, keeping in mind that pot's probably still hot. <laughs> and now we'll shut the lid, we'll turn on the power. I'll put it over here on bake, roast down there. Now I'm going to drop the temperature down to 350. Well, I'll figure out how to operate my machine here. First, got to come over here and hit the temp temperature button. Okay, now, act like you know what you're doing sometimes. All right, there's 350, and I'm going over here to where it says time on it, and I'm going to leave it at 15 minutes, and then we'll go take its temperature after it does that. So now we'll hit start. Now, in a conventional oven, it says to do it for 30 minutes, but I really don't see how this thing can take 30 minutes to get that all good and hot, because most of it's hot already. So we'll let it go for 15 minutes, and we'll be back. about 27 seconds left on this uh, bake here and you would not believe the smell of this stuff coming out now this smells really good because good thing my brother's not here he'd already be in the pot so we're about ready to look down in there and see what it looks like That's how that, and I'm going to move the camera over there so we can all look together. Oh, look at that bubbling up. Let me see. Did it run over? No. Oh, but then put your marshmallows on there. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a few little marshmallows on top of here. Right there. We'll eat one for just a good measure. Now I'm going to shut the lid. I'll put it up here on air crisp. It's going to be at 390 for 20 minutes. I'm going to just go cut it down to 5 minutes. I don't know if I'll leave it there for 5 minutes or not. And then we'll hit the start button. So, five minutes. after about 2 minutes, I'm going to raise yeah. it up and look at it. If you don't, I think it's going to be all, it's going to all this. Okay, now it's coming up on uh, almost three minutes here. we got five seconds to go to be three minutes. And we're going to raise the lid and take a look. Oh, yeah. Now, those, that looks good. 
Now we're not going to do anything else to that except try to get it out of this pot without burning ourselves. So we'll be back in a second and try that. This entire rack and set right there. We'll see how that works out here in a second. There it goes. I scoot it over the marshmallows a little bit though. That's alright, it stayed on there. That's good. Now Got to get it from here to there. Okay, keeps on saying I want to dump this on the floor here. Now I might do it for us over with. <laughs> but anyway, you can see it right there now. That's a that's a pretty sweet potato casserole right there. <laughs> we'll go get into it in just a second, see how good it is. Try just a little bit of it here. That looks good and hot and steaming. Now, get a fork. It's going to be hot. Okay, it's about down with her first plate. I'm going to tell you right, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you right now, if I don't get you in the holiday or Christmas or Thanksgiving spirit, just the smell and the taste of that. Now I know somebody in your lifetime has fixed this. I don't know if it was this good or not. That's good. And so that's about it for this little sweet potato casserole video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it, and especially as much as we will enjoy eating it, because it sure is good. And once you taste of it, it just brings out the holiday spirit in you if you've ever had this before. So, until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day. I hope you come back and see us real soon and watch more of our videos. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye now.